final four battled it out today as world number two Maria Sharapova faced German number one Angelique Kerber in a battle that went the distance. On the other side of the draw, a surprise matchup as American qualifier Bethany Matic Sands faced world number five Lee Na. So, Angelique Kerber knew she would need a boost from the crowd to beat reigning champion Maria Sharapova. Both players came out fighting, but in the longer rallies it was the Russian who had the class to pull out the big shots when they mattered. This is ominous for Kerber early on. Sharapova has got the game face on. Having taken the first set 6-3, Sharapova put a fantastic display of tennis on show. Oh. It gets the seal of approval from Kerber and the rest of this crowd. Fantastic point from both of them. Sharapova in the end coming out on top. But Kerber showed some grit and took advantage of the growing on forced errors count from her Russian opponent, giving the German a sizeable lead in the second set. Yeah, she's gone away. Very bizarre. For all that Kerber has improved, Sharapova not at the level of earlier in this contest, and the German now leads by two breaks of serve in this second set. So the match was levelled at one set each, but at 4-3, Sharapova had a chance to break. You can see what it means to her. She takes advantage of a little dip from Kerber there in that game. Yet again, though, Sharapova made unforced errors. And she is back at parity. What about this effort from Angelique Kerber in front of her home crowd? In the end, though, the Russian did enough to take the match. All over, a limp ending for Kerber, broken to love. But Sharapova once again survives a three-set tussle. The defending champion is back in the title match here at the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix. Sharapova's opponent will be decided between the surprise American qualifier, Bethany Matic Sands, and the world number five, Li Na. The Chinese number one came out with some huge ground strokes early on. Oh, yeah. Rock-solid return. And a little cry, come on, from Lina as she re-establishes her break of serve advantage in this opening set. But Matic Sands showed why she had beaten Sara Irani only two days earlier. Oh, yeah. What about that for control? Bringing the ball back in with strong top hand. Lee is a former Roland Garros winner and she comfortably swept aside Petra Kvitova in straight sets in the previous round yesterday. In this match she completed the first set without trouble and looked magnificent with shot making such as this at 2-1. So good. Strike after strike, world class, rock solid. But Matek Sands showed she could keep up with her opponent which made for some great rallies. Yeah, too good. Good effort this from Bethany Matic Sands. From a breakdown in this second set, she now leads on serve at 3 2. But it was the middle stages of the second set which proved to be pivotal to the outcome of the match. Yeah, it's good to see her in the forecourt. Good volleys, good net game, Lee. And soon Lee had the chance to take the contest away from Matic Sands. Cleans the line again with that one. And it's not the first time we've seen that here tonight. And it's a shame it had to end that way. Third double fault of the match, and Bethany Matic Sands' his run through the qualifying comes to an end here. It's been quite a run in the singles. She's still involved in the doubles, but she bows out to the second seed, Lee Na, who makes her first Porsche Tennis Grand Prix final. The second seed, she'll play Maria Sharapova for the Stuttgart title on Sunday.